All right, Rattlers, so we are in the city of Alice Springs and it started raining and the temperature has plummeted, so that really makes for really crappy herping out here. Everything is underground. So while we're in Alice Springs, we're at this place. This is the Alice Springs Reptile Center. We're gonna go in and take a look around. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Rainbow Mealworms, we grow all our insects 100% naturally so that you get the freshest, most lively feeders on the market. So for all your reptile food needs, place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net. I'm pretty sure that's not a tie pan. I believe it is. I don't think so. You can tell by the tie and the pan that it has. Tie the pants. Tie park? <laughs> uh, time to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Stella. Stella. And how old is the shingleback? Um, she'd be about a year, I think. Maybe a little more than a year. So cute, right? And then, and then we have her little boyfriend, Charlie. Aww. He just shed his skin the other day, so he looks beautiful. They're so weird, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. This guy's your biggest beardy here? Yep. His name is Bruce? Yep. Just like the shark in Jaws. <laughs> So that's why I give these guys two plates because he's a bit of a pig. And what are you feeding them? Uh, this here is a mixture of rocket, which you would call arugula. Oh yeah. Uh, carrot, parsnip, apple, um, celery leaves, and watercress oh. and broccoli. Those are nice looking shinglebacks. Yeah. What did you find? This is what I came for right here. Look at that. Oh man. Those are awesome. So there's one there. There's a really good looking one there. Coming over here. There's another one there. And another one hiding under there. I kind of wish we would have found those in the wild. Yeah. I was really hoping to find these in the wild, but still happy to see them. It's yeah. one of the main reasons I wanted to come or the most exciting points of coming out they look they're a lot smaller in person yeah much smaller in person yeah yeah i would have thought they were like maybe like bearded dragon size or something oh no no i had no idea they're so small yeah another in size and in habits and diet and everything they're just like our horned lizards yeah, I, guess, I guess if they uh eat ants you can't expect them to get that big that's true that's true i tried and i didn't get very big well, ant eaters though that's true all right brian so that was a cool little place in the world but it has stopped raining it is warm we now have a brand new spot for thorny devils out here in the desert. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna leave the zoo and we're gonna hit the road and see if we can find these thorny devils.
All right, this is just a weird, weird gas station here in Australia. But look at this gas station. So this is a very weird but very cool gas station here in Australia, but there aren't any herps here, so back on the road. The thorny devil here! He did it again. We just turned oh, around for him. Look at that. Brian? Dave? Brian? Dave? We have found the thorny devil. <laughs> we have just driven, what, like 400 kilometers, which is about 24,000 miles, to get to this place, right here, place. 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 You're starting to... In the All right, so right? we... <laughs> shut, shut up! up! I'm filming! God! <laughs> All right, you go. You go. So Rex you go. just so told rattlers, such we... a dick! <laughs> So Rex just told us that if we came to this part of the road... This is like the quintessential Australian lizard. This isn't just a lifer for me. This is something so far beyond that. We've been out here for five days already. I haven't showered, I haven't shaved. We've been sleeping in the back of a van for five days. Finding this guy makes all of that completely worth it. So this is the thorny devil. This guy, not Brian over there. Brian's gone. All right, so I'm gonna continue this by myself then we'll let Brian in. I'm back. Oh, you're back. <laughs> All right, Rattlers, so this is the... <laughs> so this is a thorny devil. This again is the quintessential Australian lizard and one of the most amazing things about these guys. Ow! Oh, <laughs> I just got stung by a big ass ant. Ouch. Look at that. Damn. Dude. Good too, them <gasps> Those guys, look at that. That thing's massive. God, that hurt. That thing looks like it hurts. That's a beast of an ant right there. That's a bigger ant than I've ever been bit by. Oh my god. So this is the thorny devil. This is also called a mullock based on its Latin name. And these are the most unique lizards here in Australia. And they are the quintessential Australian lizard. I've wanted to find one of these since I first came to Australia back in 2012. I don't miss these flies though. But one of the interesting things about this lizard is that they're like snowflakes. There are no two thorny devils alike. And as a matter of fact, their bellies are like fingerprints. There are no two thorny devil bellies that are alike, just like our fingerprints. So the pattern on this belly is unlike any other thorny devil out here. It's completely unique to this one individual lizard. These lizards are very much like our horned lizards in the United States. They have very similar habits out here. They have almost identical diets in that these guys eat ants exclusively. And therefore, these guys are not commonly kept, even in zoos here in Australia, because of that specialized diet of theirs. Anyway, Rattlers, this so far has been one of the most incredible trips that I've had to Australia, and this guy is one of those reasons why. I am so ecstatic to be here holding a thorny devil in my hands. This is just unreal. So anyway, there's a lot more adventures from Australia coming up. So until then, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.